Uh, as you see that I have everything set up in this room again. I didn't wait till I got this wall done. I've done some thinking and I figured, well, you know, I wanted everything set up. So I could set this up nicely right now. Uh, I gave myself two or three weeks to get the rest of this room done and I just don't have the time to do it. I got other things to do. Like I said before, my wife and I just bought a house. And there's a few little things that I need to get done around that's more important, believe it or not, than this room right now. So I set everything up. Uh, I took full advantage of the space that's in this room now, and uh, I really didn't like to have all my, like before I had everything jammed in here after I'd done this wall, and I really didn't like it because, well, A, something could get broken, and B, that's not how I like to do things. So anyway, I decided to set everything up, and so I can come in here, shut the door, and just have a look at my things, and pick some stuff up. You know. You, Anyone that's into any of these things understands what exactly what I'm saying. They want to be able to come in and see it and hold it. Uh, I'm just going to pan through this room for you right now. And this wall is kind of a mishmash of everything, but uh, lots of Vaders. I'm a big Vader fan, to be honest with you. Uh, Santa Claus gave me this year, Christmas, the 31-inch uh, Darth Vader, which I'm coming to right now in a second. <clears throat> But yeah, just wanted to, I love this Darth Vader, I really truly do, it's awesome. I really love this too, it's glow in the dark, but as you can see, Sebastian Shaw, which I really appreciate, because that uh, Hayden Christensen I'm not a big fan of, and it pissed me off when he, they put him in the re-release of the uh, Star Wars, really doesn't like that. In my opinion, oh, some people might give me a bit of slack for it. Star Wars to me is the uh, uh, the original three, episode 4, 5, 6. Everything else after is just got the brand name Star Wars and I like it and stuff. But to me, episode 4, 5, 6 is the Star Wars that I knew as a kid and that's what I love. Like most of my things here you will see it is from the original Star Wars and when I buy things now I'm pretty much, that's all I want to get. Not gonna really get into it too much right now, but uh, some actors that I've met in that Star Wars. Yep, that's me right here with Chewbacca himself, Peter Mayhew. I was a bit bigger back then. That was several years ago. And I also uh, started the sci fi cons in my city. Um, I graduated biz business back in 2009. Prior to that, I'd done a project in a school as I started a business. Uh, and the business that I started was, of course, having a sci-fi con in my city, which never ever had one before. So at the end of the project, the instructor said to me, you know, Carson, why don't you actually see if you can do that? And I thought about it, and I like to uh, try new things. I don't like to quit. I keep trying. And six months passed, so I'd done my first one. That's the crew here that helped me. Well, actually, it's a better picture. This is the first slot. And then we planned another one, and we, that took us a year. And we had a second one. The first one I had one actor come in, the second one I had two. This is uh, Paul Weston, the first actor that we had come in. There's actually a picture of him here in real life. Uh, great guy, wonderful guy actually. And the second two actors I had come in, Peter Roy up here next to me, with the hat on there with the chin beard. Peter Roy was fitted for the original uh, original Boba Fett suit, um, and another gig came out for acting, and he took it. I guess I don't know to him that Boba Fett was going to be such a big character in Star Wars, but still, it's kind of cool to know that he was the original one fitted for that suit. And the next guy, oh, next to him was Paul Kennington, uh, stuntman. He was in Batman and other great movies like that. But yeah, anyway, I'm not going to get too much into it right now, because uh, there's a lot that I could talk about, so I'll pick one topic one of these days, and we'll have a chit-chat about it. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. This is my first video of 2014. I'm pretty excited to start this year. Uh, and I, I just want to mention one one thing. I actually haul these out of the... Cause like, I got these totes here are completely full Star Wars, okay? 
So I hauled these out because I've been watching recently at Budget at Jedi's videos about doing dioramas and I thought it'd be pretty cool that because I draw and paint and stuff too I'm really in the art. It'd be kind of cool if I've done some dioramas for myself. I got Max Rebo band here but I have the original over here too so maybe one of these days I'll do some original dioramas. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll have more cool videos in the new year. But until then, until the next one, have a good day and thank you for watching.